Marco, firstly, many congratulations. Thank Another really, really good home win. Yes, great win for us. Big, big win. Um, and well deserved too. Um, throughout the game, I think we are the best team on the pitch. We deserve the three points. Um, against a very good side. Tough side to play against, but we we were really solid the way you, we planned the game and the, the, the way the players executed the game. On the ball, we were always a really, um, we show a treat for them every time Every time we connect our game, we connect some passes between us. Um, playing th through the pressure sometimes in behind them as well, I think we did really well. The, our first half was at top level, probably one of the best so far this season. The way you play, the way you were solid, the way you press them, the, the, the trigger for the pressure uh, did work really well and we, we executed really well as well and we deserve. In the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we did create very good chances around their box. We, we, we haven't scored. Crucial moment that we scored the first goal. What a finishing, what a cross from Robinson and what a finish from, from Rodrigo. And of course, the way we started strong again the second half and um, we almost killed the game. Um, overall, a complete performance from the, from the boys. They, they did it brilliant, first half brilliant, really. Um, and the fans as well, they were at top level. Um, it's a year since Tottenham failed to score in a game. Uh, and people will remember your goals, but that's a really significant achievement. Yes, and to achieve it, that and uh, uh, winning the game, and more than that, playing in our way. It's not okay. You can go to play against Tottenham, don't. Uh, but you clear face them. We we match them in all the aspects of the of the game, um, and to to have this feeling with a clean sheet against the side that is, they have been scoring. They are they are brave. They have a way to play really brave. Um, I have to say that this afternoon, this this evening, we are really brave too, and we we deserve the points. But it's a very good feeling. Definitely, it's a very good feeling. Not just because we won, the way we did it, uh, we, and keeping a clean sheet is really important for us. Um, I obviously want to just ask you about Rodrigo Muniz, who he's come to England uh, as a very young man. I don't think you can hide the fact that at times he struggled a little bit, but he's hit an unbelievable bit of form at the moment. He looks a proper player now. Yes, and nice to see him and the, the work that he's, he, he's been doing so far um, since 2021 is paying off right now, you know, for a young... Uh, Rodrigo, when, when he joined us and when I decided to, to buy him, or for, when I pushed the club to, to buy him, um, I saw um, a really talent on him. Some things that I really appreciate in a striker, in a number nine. Um, when he came with uh, 20 years old for our football club, not speaking one, one word in English, in that moment he was not even a starting level player in Brazil. Of course, it was a tough move for him, but we... Um, I kept the faith on him. Of course, they were two years not brilliant for him. The first season in Championship, he did really well with Mitrovic in front of him, even so he was really useful for us. Uh, last season was not the best, of course, and now this season he got the chance. He stepped he step in in the right moment when he got the chance. He, he showed that, OK, I'm here, I'm going to fight for the position. I'm, I want to, to help the club to go forward, and now he's paying off for him, and I'm really pleased for him because he's a very good striker. He's, he has the talent there. Big, big room to improve is a good sign. But when he's playing so well and the, the room there is big to improve, is a very good sign. And I'm really happy to, to be with him, to have him with us, to keep evolving as a football player. But actually, you can see that he's played in that deeper role because it's not just what he does as a number nine. He's, he's played deeper in the pitch. We saw a couple of little turns and knocks off around the corner. He, he's got that as well. Yes, yes. He's a, he's a, he has all the abilities and the, the, the potential to, to become a, a, top, a top striker, in my opinion. He has, a, he has everything there. Of course, still a young lad. He's 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to keep giving the space for him to keep improving. But uh, the best way to improve is this one. Keep playing week in, week out, making mistakes, making good things, keep keep learning, let's let's keep developing him as a as a football player because he's really strong, he can he can link well the game, as you say, the, the way he links the game. In the box is 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 he has the, the, the feeling and the, that the goal scorer has to have to to punish the opposition size and it's really difficult one to, to deal with. Anthony, congratulations. Fulham here, nine home Premier League wins now this season, some big ones. Wins over Arsenal, wins over West Ham, wins over Spurs. I mean, it's a great place to come and watch, isn't it? Uh, well, we've, we've definitely had our moments this season. I think that's going to be right up there. I mean, um, obviously, uh, the 2 5 0 wins stick out in mind, but beating you know, a top, top team like that who have quality all over the pitch. Uh, to do it in the way we did, the battle we showed, the quality on the ball and to keep a clean sheet, I think that's right up there for me. It was, it was a very open first half, wasn't it? There was a lot of chances. And then in the second half, maybe you expected Spurs to come out and 
caused you more problems, but actually thought your domination in the second half was more than it had been in the first. Yeah, it's a, it's a real trend of ours. If you know, if we score first, we tend to you know. I don't think we've lost uh, lost the game when we've scored first. Um, we obviously had a lot of chances early on that we probably could have put away uh, if we're being honest with ourselves. But I think uh, we really showed that we were going out there to win the game. We were being really positive, um, trying to capitalise on the fact that they're a really attacking team. They throw a lot of men forward and uh, keeping our shape well to try and you know win and counter attack, which you know worked really effectively. What about this fellow up front, Rodrigo Muniz? I think he scored six times in his first 45 games for Fulham and he scored seven in the next seven. Uh, that's some achievement. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of... Um, I've been fortunate to talk a, a lot about him in a good light, but for someone to, uh, you know, be, go what he's been through, um, you know, a goal drought is not nice for anyone, let alone a striker. Um, and for him to come out the other side of it and now as soon as he scored a goal you know he can't stop scoring uh, but even off the ball I think he's been performing amazingly and it's just a credit to him there's not many players with as much heart as him you see it in other games where people are going to kick the ball and he's sticking his head in you know he's going up for every single ball he puts in so much work for us and uh, he's a you know he's a big credit to himself and obviously as, as one of a back four you kept a clean sheet today against a side who hadn't failed to score a goal in a year so that's quite an achievement yeah, I mean, whoever comes here, um, I think we've had a really good home record this season in general, but clean sheets mean a lot to us. Um, the manager is really high on um, clean sheets. If we'd have conceded at the end and won 3-1, he'd, he'd have been really angry at us, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, keeping a clean sheet against a top team like that's amazing.